What's up guys? This is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of, of the Kingdom of Mysore. So to pick up, pick up where we left off, we're chasing down this force, and we're gonna destroy them just so they do not reconstitute themselves into a another force further up towards Ahmedabad, because we do want to maintain the pressure to make uh, to maintain the pressure up towards the Mughals so they don't um, gather their strength, because like, it feels like I've I have uh, broken their main strength, so the onus is on us to expand aggressively into their territory. There's a few armies we have to deal with, still, for sure. But it's easier... well, we need to make sure we just keep up the momentum. It's got some Kizobashi, but again, yeah, this thing with Kizobashi, they, don't, they can't form square. Which I never knew. Did not know that was a thing until I started playing Mysore, which is pretty neat, I think. I've been playing this game for 13, 1500 hours, actually 1546, and still don't really know how everything works. I mean, it's probably my fault. It's way too easy to, to just sit there and play Great Britain, America, you know, all the big factions. But yes, we're just going to deploy and advance slowly and with caution in order to knock out the enemy cavalry as efficiently as possible. And my gunners declare or attack whatever they feel like and my cavalry to push aggressively up the left. So you might try and mow, uh, mow down those two units of levy. Let's speed up the time actually because my chaps are about to get into position. Nope, they have declined to advance towards us. I haven't really pushed up my melee infantry because they're probably not going to get so involved. To be honest, you guys advance up the flank. Make sure my gunners. Oh, that's a great hit. Straight through this camel gunner unit into these two back here. Keep going. Eventually, we will just trap them at the back of the map. Let's retarget that. That's a camel unit. Let's focus on the horsemen because they're more annoying than camels are. Especially as up front, they. These camel nomads are about to be engaged by my Hindu musketeers. Down they go already. You can see a large amount of their armies already routing, so. Throw the camels in because most of our guys are camels. We're not actually going to be able to chase down their camels. We get the horsemen are starting to engage. My troops should mow them down. Or are they going to charge? Too late to form a square, but whatever. You chase down that unit of levy. It's another unit of infantry we can knock out. And then let's just set our camels to pursue their camels. Not that they will. Then speed up time because we do ideally want to at least knock out those infantry units. My camels will do what camels will do. Man, get the levy. Don't get stuck. Come on, one last levy man. There we go. Then go get the rest of these chaps over here. Everyone else has nearly fled. The generals fled. You're the last unit on the board, and it's just again, it's a small unit of levy, but it's worth knocking them out just to make sure they don't gather, because that could be part of the issue with the Mughals. If you keep defeating them. 
they'll keep pumping out units and then suddenly those fragments that you've left actually start to become quite a significant force. There we go, we lost 77 men. We've pushed back to a made bad. We aren't in range. Replenish and push up to the bridge, because we are going to want to push a made bad. Uh, he says. Uh, you guys are going to go mop up these units. Probably going to be an auto, yeah. And you may replenish whatever you can. We've got a dervish unit who now may be placed to actually do some good. So let's do that. Combine those dervishes. Hop you guys back. Okay. Hindu musketeers. Combine you guys. Combine some pikemen. Yeah. Yeah, we do have some strength to deal with. Uh, but we do have this force to the south. That's hightailing it up towards Katak. We got reinforcements here, so you're going to go up to join that army. You're going to join that army. You're going to join that army up to the front. Yeah, they might be raiding us for now. Ahmad Nagar is a little bit upset, but you guys can hold the ground nearby. In terms of tech, four turns till we get. Crop rotation, which is mainly about boosting our um, growth to town for towns and such. 2,200 next turn, which isn't great. But we've got a significant breakthrough here in the west. Obviously in the east there is still some competition. But you men hold. Wait for this force to advance up the coast road. That's my best outcome, I think. Then push and made a bad take that city and then maybe hold in the west until I can focus more on my strength to defeat the troops in the east. Although to be honest I will be very very curious to see where the Mughals actually go. Because the main, my, main, my main challenge is I own a significant chunk of India but I'm not actually earning the cash you usually get from it. Not yet at least. I mean we all know why that is. It's because I've just sunk so much of my cash into my building up my army. Not that I really had a choice. But if I can get India under control before I start getting interfered with too much by the Europeans, that would be pretty darn useful. I don't want to push up too aggressively and get a border with Persia, because soon then I'll be attacked by Persia, and Persia will generate stack after stack after stack after stack and chase me down. But at least my weaker force to the west, we can capture, we can push Ahmedabad and begin to put the Mughal Western Front under threat. Let's see what happens. I might end up chopping the recording next turn if they're going to be up to their tricks. Yeah, they are advancing. Well, they've advanced within range. They're going to be ripe for an attack. So we do need to keep... Just keep um, knocking them back as often as we can. It would be great if we wouldn't weren't under siege uh, from our ports and allowing our Empire to trade. That would be good. Uh, rebels, pirates. Get into a Madnagar. Cause they don't—they don't go anywhere. They just—they stay inside the territory. You may get into Hyderabad. So you guys are probably going to push and attack Jai Hassan. Hansan. You may actually. It's unfortunate that they're now occupied, but let's get this sloop around here, because I can take a militia militiaman from Mysore, because you men can get aboard ship. Land off the coast and get ready to attack Calcutta in the east, rather than... Oh, you, no, you're not, you're not completely in range, obviously. <laughs> they're not up to anything. Uh... No ports in the west, so just go raid this trade trade route. 
probably could do with rebuilding this weaver's cottage because that would give us quite a significant tax boost. Same with this cotton plantation, same with this farm. To be honest, there's a lot of things we can spend money on. You're going to push towards a Medabad. Maybe even demand the surrender of the city. No, nope, very well. Just siege it. You're replenishing quite strongly. Probably going to want to repair this building. I mean, there's a bit of a threat here towards Hyderabad. But for a turn, you should be okay. Especially if I can land and take Calcutta. But let's take Mr. Gadali. Attack Jai Hassan. And let's push back this force towards Nagpur. We probably do want to sally out and attack those uh, pirates to the west. That was a bit of an oversight there, allowing them to spawn. Oh well, we shall continue. But yeah, most of the force that's opposing us is dervishes, so we're going to form a standard musketeer line. Okay, so let's put dervishes behind the line, bowmen hunker down behind a section of the line. Guns can fire from the high ground, we've got a Kizilbashi cavalry unit, which is the first time I think we're really giving them an outing. They look pretty decent, obviously they've got, they have their own rifles, leave the rifles, not bows, well not rifles, muskets rather, yeah they aren't bows. On the other flank, we have some cavalry and some uh, more uh, camels. Let's form up. Oh, Islamic swordsman. Yeah, you can stay in the centre. Well, not in the centre. You can stay positioning to outflank the enemy. My infantry are going to go for a bit of a run to just take some territory heading towards the Mughals. You men continue to advance. Sikh warriors, horsemen, I mean they're all mostly depleted. So these guys don't actually can't actually form square. This thing to bear in mind here. It looks like they're going to run across our front, so the lack of square formation isn't actually going to do that much damage. You men engage the camel gunners. Keep my other cavalry moving on. Good volley there, wavering. Get my horsemen in against them rapidly. Because they're cavalry, obviously, they can catch up to these guys and do some really good damage. So they're not trying to kill them. Keep all my mobile units on the move. Get my skirmish cavalry around to the rear. My camels can attack the dervishes. Levy are engaging. Looks like they're probably not going to get too close to my front rank in most places. You men engage the nomads. You guys keep pushing in. You guys push in. Horsemen skirmish that camel unit. Okay, right. Let's commit. You guys around, Kizilbashi attack the levy, commit the dervishes, get the bowmen to push up, get these horsemen to attack the dervishes in the rear, they've broken, get my guns to keep engaging the enemy general, and the men smash into the dervishes, it looks like in a lot of places, 
call them in full retreat. You hit the Seek Warriors, you hit the Dervishes. Yeah, you're about you're gonna go into fire on the camels, let's push you up. Ultimately though, most of these guys can stand to stop firing. Because the enemy is the enemy is in flight. Pursue them! Drive them from the battlefield! There you go, can mop up these dervishes. Go after those mercenaries, they're probably the target, chief target here. You guys go after that unit you know, dervishes. Pull my dervishes back. Camels are a good kill, but they move too far. I'd rather knock out more dervishes. Yeah, so the general's going to keep engaging me, but my guns are continuing to open fire on them at range, so probably not going to be too much of a problem. Hopefully this should be this dervish unit annihilated. Yep, it is. Attack the levy. Hello? What's this? I didn't know, I didn't know we had reinforcements to deal with. Ah. Not that it's much of a problem. Advance out my new front line. Dervishes and musketeers. Everyone keep running. Maybe play it. No, no, play it normally. Get my camels over here to attack the general's bodyguard. Attack the mercenaries. You guys continue to attack the dervishes. You might kill them before they rout, but. Yep, they have changed direction and they've decided to route towards my troops. You hit the levy. Actually, you hit. No, you hit them. Hello? I mean, it's only a levy and a couple of weak units here. I mean, the horsemen might just carry on attacking. My general. Well, my camels are going to attack the general's bodyguard. So everyone else just carry on chasing people down. These dervishes, these mercenaries, sorry, are going to get mowed down by my bows. Okay, get out of there. Retarget the gunners against the new threats, which are just at the edge of their range. I mean, they're very keen. Go on, skirmishers, engage them with bow fire. It's a bunch more dervishes mown down. Oh. Ah, hit the levy. Actually, no, don't. Bad idea. Run around the levee. Then go after the dervishes. Let the levee soak up the gunfire. Ah, come on, camels. You can kill a general. Well, obviously, he would be the last one, the last furthest one away from us. Right, we'll continue. Go on, knock out that last dervish. Good, redeploy. You're not going to get all of those levy. There's only le 11 left, but they are... Oh no, they've decided to run away from the, the edge. Probably not going to get the general. Would be nice to... Hey, there he goes. Ok, 
you know, it's everyone versus this levy unit. I'm not gonna... Or am I? I was gonna say, I'm not gonna haul everyone in. But I may as well. Although the edge of the map is only there. Not as many dead as we'd like, but still a good number. So at the very least, that provides a threat to the east that they have to be aware of. That's a significant defeat for them. Let's push up and secure the craft workshop. We can probably replenish in only 700. Sweet. Okay, everything else is generally... Okay. See, apart from, apart from all the stuff that's not okay. I mean, you're going to hold ground because they're going to push. Ultimately, if I could take Calcutta and Ahmedabad, I might be able to form another piece with the Mughals and then attack them again. Next turn, if they let me. That's me raiding. My path blocked, not so bad. We've still got religious unrest here. Mysore's still got religious unrest as well. Fundamentally, I need more stuff. Don't have enough stuff, need more. I probably... Well, if I can take Ahmedabad and Calcutta and then, I, I think I'd better make peace, realistically, because it will be... That will be quite a significant blow to the Mughal regime. Then I can focus on, again, rebuilding, reorganising and... Building up my empire just a little bit more. Just a, just a little bit more. Calcutta's particularly valuable. Uh, it's probably one of... Well, Calcutta and Medabad, there's two, that's two of their last remaining big... Well, it's not the only two. They've got... Amadnagar... Is it? No, not Amadnagar. No, that's the one I'm taking. Lahore and... Oh, I can't remember the name. There's another territory in the north that's a large Indian city which I will see soon. But again, the question is, do the Mughals push Hyderabad? No, they don't, actually. They pull back, because they see where the wind is blowing. You can raid if you like, there's nothing there. That was quite a coup, actually. But if I can take the city, take Calcutta, boot the enemy out of our land. Obviously it will depend on the diplomatic situation. It will only be very it will very much be a temporary peace. We will take a peace deal, reorganize, then push again. Cuba has fallen. Ah, come on, let's just use you guys. Just pop out and just deal with the deal with the rebels. Because that brings the territory in line. You guys can actually redeploy to you guys and plenish, not completely, get back to the city. Okay, Mr. Kadali, push on Nagpur from the east. If you attack that army, I can auto that to get rid of them and the garrison. Then you guys can attack the city. Can I take... Uh, I can't take Calcutta. But first of all, let's just have a look. Yeah, so there's no troop, barely any troops here in Ahmedabad. Barely any here in Calcutta. Oh, I mean, it would be nice if I could take it and not get teleported out in Nagpur, which I will. 3,400. This income's going up. Okay, you guys can go back to Calcutta. Just so I can get you guys back into my sword, just to make sure I don't get any issues but I think it would be beneficial to take Calcutta and Ahmadnagar and try and make peace only temporarily maybe then spend five or so turns building up our strength before we attack again so I'm pretty sure there's no one we're not at war with anyone who would cause us issues well, I mean, we're not at war with people who won't cause us issues if we redeclare. So, we're going to deploy. I think it's raining, we've got shenanigans going on. But my melee troops are going to clear out the town centre. 
or at least most of them. The rest are going to push around the flanks, acting as pseudo cavalry. I, mean, I, do, I do have cavalry, but granted, it's only a handful of camels. My artillery is going to be near as damn it useless. Okay, you guys run in, you guys run in, you guys run in, you guys run in. Obviously the bulk of my infantry is on the wrong side. So we're probably going to push on the right, hold on the left. And also, that means my cam camel, my um, artillery is on the wrong side. Now well, it's no fun if we be too defensive. Advance. Ultimately, they've got a lot of garrison musketmen, or a good chunk of garrison musketmen, but most of their strength are actually these mortars. Let's get my general over on the other flank. Let's get my camels on the right to advance as well. But yeah, mainly I want my melee forces to get in here and destroy those guns. Is one of you already wavering? I thought I saw a wavering flag. Your native warrior auxiliary hit the mortars. Hindu warriors hit that unit of mortars. Dervishes hit the other unit of mortars. You men hit the armed populace. You men fix them in position, dervishes push the flank, camels also stay on the run. Excellent. There goes the armed populace, you men hit the garrison musketman on the flank, push the camels. You men push on into the firelock armed populace. Dervishes, these dervishes just advance. You men push into the rear of the 16th Dakili. So you men hit the firelock armed populace. You men can now attack the firelock armed populace because you will go around the side. Camels begin pursuing these enemy units get my other units on the left to just push up aggressively so now the left flank has fallen the right flank is looking mighty exposed for the enemy oh how cute you're sending the armed populace in against my camels well a they'd love to meet you and b so would my pikemen and they've started to waver just want to make people charge them uh, the 12th dakil might have had something to do with it be it. The entire flank has broken, so everyone except the camels just get up here. The reason why I say except the camels is because I want them, maybe you as well, keep pursuing the units that are, that are routing just to make sure they do stay dead. Okay, you men go hit the ninth. Is that there are only two units that can actually put up a fight? Oh no, the, well the ninth are going to get hit in the backside by everybody else. Push my pikes up the flank, same with my Islamic swordsmen who look pretty dope. Hit him on the flank, you might hit him in the rear. Send the Islamic swordsmen in. Looks like they're both wavering. The guns managed to make one of them break. The camels have made the other break. You men cease fire. Shattered. Shattered. Suddenly you men are probably going to be upset by the native warrior auxiliary. Yep, I know you are broken too. Cease fire. Pretty sure that's everybody. Yep, 
Yes, it is. Excellent. It's quite a rapid capture of Calcutta. But again, Calcutta's, Calcutta is another region that can be quite valuable. I mean, obviously not at the minute, because it's mostly subsistence farming and a tavern, no buildings. So we want to get this upgraded so that the town's growing. I would have loved to have taken Nagpur, but I'm not going to be there. get there in time. So let's take you men to attack him. I mean, I might just... That's just an auto-resolve, because that's just done. In which case, then, diplomacy, Mughals. So they're allied... So the only people to worry about, they're allied with Prussia, who I'm not at war with. They're allied with Russia, who I'm not at war with, but not friendly with. But they're also peace... Okay, right, maybe I don't want to make peace and then declare on them. But at least I got you guys to the south who are able. Well, the question is, do I just bring you guys back across the river? So the territory could well. I mean, ultimately, I might just exempt it from tax because it's worth nothing. But if I could lure them into a river battle, that would be pretty awesome. Too bad most of my actual ships are stuck here. Well, I mean, I could theoretically... Well, I couldn't win that. But you guys who are watching absolutely could. Okay, you're going to continue to push Nagpur. You guys, I doubt, can leave Calcutta. Minus two. Not bad. It's because you've got a Mughal um, priest who is converting the territory for us as well. I might actually leave this unit of Hindu musketeers behind. Just, oh no, I thought they might make it improve it a bit more than that, but I guess not. This exempts you from tax, just for a few turns, because you're currently worth nothing, but your expansion is more valuable. Akbarabad! That's the territory. Okay, so next turn you're pushing Nagpur, you're going to pu pull back and see if you can engage them in a river battle. You're going to replenish and get ready to push these chaps from the south. But ultimately, once you take Nagpur... What are you? You're just camels. Let's see if camels versus... What are you, auto-win? Ah. It's a disappointing. I thought you were cat. I thought you were pikemen. Okay, so... 2,400 next turn. Again, that's not great, but it's because they are... Blocking our port, although realistically, do we just want to combine all of our sloops on the west coast? Especially as we do, we can afford to give up a bit of the garrison here. Let's so then use you men to attack the ships in port, just to do whatever damage you can. So they lost one ship. And suddenly, my navy here with two strong fifths. <laughs> yes, and bring the fifth rate into service. So suddenly, that is going to open up a load of extra cash and trade, and we're still going to be able to disperse ships. Although you guys are probably going to stay there. Good! In theory we should be protecting this one, but I'm not worried about it. You, if you survive, can get back there. There we go. 5,900 next turn, which is pretty good. I'd like to build some troops here to deal with this raiding camel unit, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Well, I, well, I, I will be able to next turn, but not this turn. Yeah, fundamentally I don't want to... Okay, so I really don't want to make peace with the Mughals and then declare war on them again because I don't want to bring Prussia into the war because they've got a large empire in Central Europe. And they're also at war with the Dutch. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready, which means a constant state of war will exist between us and the Mughals until my final victory. Yes, we need to upgrade roads. We need to upgrade farms, get towns built, and then get our economy firing. I'd like, this turn, now we've freed up our ports to actually, we'll probably repair the industrial building to the south, but mostly try and build my economy. 
I'm glad the Ottomans and the Russians are still sparring. It means neither of them are going to be overly inclined to come at me. At least, well, for a while. Denmark owns Norway, but Sweden owns Denmark, which is an interesting swap. And then sooner or later, Persia's going to get me. But that will, that will only be when I'm on their borders. When I'm on their borders, hopefully, my economy will be firing on all cylinders. Go on, that's it. Fall back. No, don't push south. We've got an, uh, that spare army to the west I can redeploy if I need to. Okay, we've got an opportunity to bottle army up there. I'm going to auto it just because I should. I've got an army to the west, I can redeploy Hyderabad, I can still recruit troops there. To be honest, I should probably also recruit troops in Akbarabad. Just start recruiting not very good troops, especially if they're not going to actually push it. Because yeah, you guys are still replenishing. There's Furu's Khan. So back here, let's get some Hindu musketeers recruited here. Let's get some cavalry recruited here. Let's go down here and upgrade you. Can't repair you. You're not going to replenish because we're going to re repair, repair the court. Can't repair the farm. Repair the port, I should say. But you men are going to keep pushing the enemy. You are going to push and just bottle up that army so we can focus on what's going on elsewhere. I don't mind if we lose Iqbarabad. You probably want to attack that force there. Just so we do destroy them, we may as well keep engaging these smaller armies while we can. And keep pushing them back, allow our forces in the east to try and drive the bulk of their strength west into these two armies. I think that's probably going to be the winning move there. I mean, I definitely need more schools, but I'm currently bouncing along the bottom in, in terms of funds. But let's exercise our firepower advantage against this enemy. with my mobile units in res in uh, on the flanks as is tradition but yes just keep fighting melee units behind the lines yeah deploy my guns right there Let's see what happens probably could do with deploying my line a bit more intelligently Ultimately, we do have a significantly larger army than the enemy. Okay, you men can take the Yuna Kizobashi. Form up. Maybe not quite that wide. Push up. One set of guns hit a camel gunner unit, the other set of guns hit this camel gunner unit. Good hits, good hits. Get ready to engage the camel gunners. They're coming. They weren't kidding. Blast them. Islamic swordsman counter charge. Troops on the left, advance. Oh, you men leg it, you're getting gonna get caught in the open. But yeah, my Islamic swordsmen have countercharged the camel gunners, so they're going down thick and fast. They can also countercharge those dervishes who are gonna meet the same fate. 
my mobile elements move in. Ultimately, that's a lot of that's a lot of routing troops. Camels, attack the musketeers, get my cavalry in here a bit more rapidly, get my guns to switch to round shot and engage that Dakil unit. You're just charging after them, which is again, which is fair enough. But you're going to gang up on these Sikh musketeers because they haven't worked out how to get past the cart. Sikh musketeers are a good unit to knock out, although you should probably try and chase down Camels, you guys go after those Sikh Musketeers, you go after that Sikh Musketeer unit, you guys go after the Dervishes. Cease fire the guns. And continue. Yeah, Sikh Musketeers are a... they're a good unit. I can't really get them. Because I haven't upgraded the... I haven't upgraded my um, barracks to this suitable level. It's a camel gunner wiped out. You don't often wipe out camel gunner units. You're going to knock out that dervish unit though, with a vengeance. New men mop up the 11th. Come on, there we go. Go after them, but they're probably going to escape successfully anyway. As are these desert warriors. As are those Sikh musketeers. Keep trying. Come on, there's more of you now. You should be able to work out what you want to do. Run over here. Attack them. Then immediately run to go get those ones over there. That's why this can be such a pain in the backside. Because you can direct them over here and they might bump into a few and get some kills, but they will then decide to swap and change directions as soon as they feel like it. Like now! Curse you! Curse you! Still, it's a victory for us. As a small force, destroyed. Pushed back across the river towards Eugene. Can I recruit anything here? No, I can't. Again, like I don't mind not controlling a made of bad. I mean, I, I do. I don't. Oh, I don't like giving up territories like that or making them easily, having them easily be able to be captured. You guys push up there. Is that my only agent? I'm sure I've got a couple. Oh, no, only one thuggy. Got my imams. One more turn till you get the next level farming, then not a lot else I can really do. 8,100 next turn though, that's pretty good. But yeah, you guys get some backup, you guys are getting some backup. You guys can replenish whatever you can. Let's take our two weakest units there and combine them there. Good, combine our Islamic swordsmen together. Good, let's hit end turn. Yep, you're coming back to a safe port. I don't mind losing a Medabad. If it mean if it means that at least my front line is a bit more secure. Good, the French French and the Dutch are still at war. As long as the Dutch don't take Paris, I want them to be sparring over the French capital for many, many years to allow me to expand my control. I'm aware I'm still sieging that territory, Nagpur, in the east, but that's chiefly because I don't really need to attack it yet. I'm happy just to get some attrition uh, dealt out to the enemy before doing much offensively on that front. So once we take Nagpur, then, then we're cooking. Then we're going to really be on the move. I'm hoping, what to be honest, I want to build up roads. I want to build roads in Katak and I want to build up roads in uh, 
Calcutta as well, because they just have basic dirt roads. And upgrade the port and build a sloop to protect the port at Calcutta, because right now it is vulnerable. It's very, very vulnerable. But it's just so tempting to just dump money onto your armies in the field. Yeah, you're going to push Hyderabad, and again you're going to take it, but that's okay. It is only temporary. It's unfortunate about the money, the monetary loss. Might have to split. Ooh, is that, they've had a revolution. They've now become a republic. If nothing else, them having Hyderabad means I can more easily... Um, trap one of their armies inside the city, although they're actually probably going to take it pretty well. Bit of a blunder, really, not uh, holding that central position and instead sending my army east towards Calcutta. Well, well, things are the way they are. 5,400. I mean, you guys can immediately put the city under siege. Oh, you're so damn close. Okay, can my camels secure Ahmedabad to prevent them from rebelling? Zero, they can. So my main force can push on to Ajain. Siege it. You're within range. My Hindu musketeers are going to be are in an okay position. You're still sieging Nagpur. You're on the move. Right, okay, okay, I've got options here. So let's repair you. Upgrade the roads. Repair the dancing school. A lot of territories here to make some good money. Ultimately, I need to knock out. If you guys take out this force here, take holding the city of Nagpur, you're going to be ready to immediately move south if you're needed. I mean, I'm aware of the army. There's a small force running around to the south. So where's my thuggy? Try locate it. There it is. A couple of units of dervishes. Don't know how much. Let's dispatch a small force south to intercept. Hello, Maratha troops. Mughal troops, I should say. You men hold the bridge. Probably wanna... You can't recruit anything up here in Calcutta, can you? Well, you can get mercenaries. Bits and bobs. Let's repair the barracks. Let's combine... troops. Six turns to get some of these units. You need to be careful where we recruit them from. It's gonna have to be mercenaries even though they're expensive and they're going to be recruited from oh, I thought they'd be recruited from Katak. Although probably don't even want to recruit anything because I want to do this. Attack the city. Their, their, their army is very very depleted. They are suffering significantly um, from not having much of an economy. They're really really running out of puff. But I need to destroy these armies that are currently behind my lines. Well, soon to be behind my lines. Ooh. Delicious territory for guns up here. So let's push up this central point. We'll sit up through this gap. You guys can aspirationally get up and around the flanks. Let's take two cavalry unit plus a camel unit. Anyone going to push around the left? I don't think so. That's going to be my first wave. Followed by a second wave of melee troops plus some support. Mobile troops going to screen the left flank.
Although they have deployed exactly the sort of place where I'm looking to go. So you men run. Let's get my melee wing behind them as well. You're going to try and push the left. It looks like you might try. So let's deploy some of our ranged troops on the left flank. Backed up with a bowman. My mobile elements are there, as is my general. You men run. My, my cavalry is running, going straight up the middle anyway. Let's pick targets for my guns. You guys go after that unit of dervishes. You guys go after that unit of dervishes right there. Break off a cavalry unit to skirmish. We'll soon see how the bottleneck is getting up this terrain. Because that's impassable, that's impassable, so there's a very... You tell it's impassable because you can start to see these lines indicating the rock faces. Obviously because your cursor goes cross, turns into a cross when you can't get over something. There's more and more troops than I would have thought are going to come along here. Yeah, they'll be fine. Although that is definitely most of them. My bows provide quite good close-in defence from being rushed. Let's fire off one volley. And they've hit my infantry line. I would like people just to run past, but I don't think that's going to happen. You men try and intercept the camel nomads. Are you guys going to run around the flank on me? Stop in the name of the Islamic swordsman! Can you men push on into the levee? Push my dervishes on. Are they going to? They're going to literally try and. Charge my infantry in the rear. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Hindu musketeers and Kijilbashi musketeers to push up. I think they are just redeploying to the, edge of the other edge of the map where I'm not actually fighting. Yep, yeah, there go the camels. God, they died real quick. get my guns to pivot and engage the near threats but realistically it's not going to be too much of a problem my Islamic swords we're going to engage the horsemen then we're going to try and push and secure the town hall surprise Okay, so here comes a dervish unit that's going to rush, but then my bowmen are going to make ready and fire. Well, they should be. They've been charged by the dervishes, but that's not going to be a problem. These dervishes are going to commit against the horsemen on the left. You're going to commit ready to fight those dervishes. You're going to secure the town hall. You're going to push there. You're going to push there. Camels are going to push up as well. Horsemen get over on the left. There you go, that unit of horsemen. Charge the dervishes, push my cavalry out wide. 
Yeah, bowmen are causing some causing some hurt there. You men charge the unpopulous, you men get running. You've cut your way through that unit of dervishes, and you're also going to cut your way through this unit of dervishes. Allow my infantry to keep pushing. You guys might get, well, will get bogged down here. Let's get the camels over here to knock out the artillery. The Hindu musketeers go attack the dervishes. Everyone else get over here to back up my cavalry because they are about to get mobbed too. Seek warriors, that's actually not good. But yeah, the left flank has collapsed. As we expected it to. Never in doubt. Get my mobile units up here quickly. You men get over here to attack the Seek Warriors. I know you're only musketeers and Seek Warriors are scary. Push on, 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 push my cavalry, the camels on, the enemy have collapsed on this front, so everybody bar the camels push on against the infantry. Push my infantry around this position to try to hit the enemy troops in the rear. So you guys, your job is just to survive. You can engage the Sikh Musketeers with bow fire. There we go, we've, hold, we've held them up long enough. Kizilbashi cavalry unit. Let's get him in. Surprise! You thought things were going so well when actually they were going the worst. Go on, on Kizilbashi cavalry. Ah, yeah. Down they go. Excellent. Yep, and the Sikh Musketeers aren't long for this world either. A bunch of them died mysteriously due to my camel charge after Disco sliding their way around. Ceasefire. Cavalry charge coming in to back up the camels. Yep, and that's the first duck eel. Down you go. Oh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, you're gonna come come south to try and track down and destroy Sikandar Baksh. You're going to keep sieging Eugene, because I would like... Can I tax you? No. Close. Uh, let's, not try, let's not do anything too mad yet, but if I take a camel unit and do that... Ah, uh, still doesn't work. Again, the job won't be to attack, it will be to fix. Let's recruit two Islamic swordsman units and a pike unit here in Satara, ready to push up and support this effort here. Can you guys leave Nagpur? You guys could even take the city. But can you guys leave Nagpur immediately? Minus two. I'd like minus two to become minus one. It's doable. The problem is, is sometimes it's, it, it's if they rebel and they hit, they damage a building that's actually useful. Because you men can then mop up those guys, cover the bridge. That'll allow you guys 
We need to push them from a direction at least. If you run this way, they'll run that way. Push the college just to cause them some upset. Get you guys to pursue and chase them down. 5993. Isn't bad. Real, real messy though. Okay, so we're going to partner, get on with. Uh, socket bayonet, I suppose. Can I get any more trade partners in? Except for the Barbary States, doesn't look like it. What about Portugal? Nope. Okay, let's hit N10. The hope is the army at Hyderabad won't actually... Well, they will try and attack me. They won't just... Oh, France! France, be cursed! Curse you with a thousand... Oh. So annoying, France. So annoying. And because the ships move so fast, it's not even something I can really defeat with a navy because they don't. They don't actually. Oh, so France lost Paris. See, they've lost Paris, and they're sending an army to go and attack me. Where's the logic? Where is the logic? I don't know where it is. Yeah, we're going to push, take Hyderabad back. Then we're going to push south again to, defe to defend Arcot. I mean, they're going to take it. They're probably not going to be able to leave Arcot very long. Again, it's unfortunate because Arcot's quite a moneymaker, but at least we've got more armies in the field. So should we... Well, we d it's not a case of we have to stop the attack immediately because we have to run south and support what's going on down there. We have a bit of leeway. Yeah, the French probably own somewhere... Oh, they own Strasbourg still, so they're not going to disappear. They probably also own Turin. I mean, ultimately, if they do get their last territory in Europe taken, then they, that territory will become pirate-owned anyway. So they've decided to go east instead. I mean, if they want to go attack Arcot before the French get there... They are my guests. One last turn to make use of our empire. Obviously the pirates are now raiding us. Bit of a bummer. I mean, that's super annoying. Especially because it's just a stupid army from the Americas. It's not doing anything. So it can't even... See, because they can just spawn and then sail over immediately. I can't stop them. What if you just get peace? Peace. I give you advanced tech. Peace, tech. Have the lot. No. Because <laughs> if I give them go, they'll just teleport. Again, it's annoying, but eh, what are we going to do? So then back here, recruit a bunch of Islamic, uh, Hindi musketeers. I mean, we are going to attack Hyderabad and destroy it and continue pushing south, but the idea is we keep building up our strength down here to allow us to keep pushing north. Like, you guys can just get over here and clear them out. We can repair Nagpur, although it's not probably not the financially the, the best decision to make. Let's send my thuggy up towards Akbarabad. Because there's been a rebellion, they're probably upset. So you men keep pushing. You men combine. Continue your offensive towards Akbarabad. Vidaipur is actually exposed. You men may preemptively move just a little bit south. Yeah, then this force is going to attack Hyderabad. But looking at the timer, well, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching for a com completely messed up turn. But at least this army is in really good shape. But yes, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the recapture of Hyderabad. And then a continuation of our drive south to deal with these stupid raiders. Radio. Cheers everyone.